हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे लेट अस स्टार्ट चैप्टर सिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू जावा स्क्रिप्ट इन दिस चैप्टर जावा स्क्रिप्ट वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सिंटेक्स अलर्ट स्टेटमेंट कमेंट इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट वेरिएबल्स असाइनमेंट स्टेटमेंट सेमी कॉलन इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑपरेटर्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर्स प्रॉम्प्ट डायलॉग बॉक्स सिंपल एंड कंपाउंड स्टेटमेंट्स इफ स्टेटमेंट एंड एट लास्ट स्विच स्टेटमेंट्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर वी शुड नो व्हाट इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट नाउ जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज ए स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज डेवलप्ड बाय ब्रेंडन आइक फॉर नेटस्केप इट इज यूज विथ एच web page so it is not used alone uh, it is used with html web page to help the web developers to manipulate the browser and its content which was not possible with html alone javascript has more control of how the web page looks and behaves so this program this uh, javascript is used because it has more control of how the web page will look and how it will behave so that's why javascript is used with html Run javascript in any web browser so there is no specific browser which is to be used for running the javascript but you can use any of the browser web browsers internet explorer firefox safari chrome or any other web browsers you can use you already have basic knowledge of how web page is created so html uh, structure you have already done so you know how a web page is created you would also recall the basic tags like head body tag in html so uh, this this tags you have already done in html you have already started the structure and if you have not done it uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so you can go uh, to my video uh, html basics there is one video so you can see that video about html so let us start studying about the javascript and understand how it proves useful in creating interactive and dynamic web pages so now let us understand how this javascript help us to create interactive and dynamic web page at first javascript syntax now let us understand the syntax of javascript so the javascript are placed within the script that is this open script and closing script so whatever we write as you can see in this example so html is there body is there same thing but script we start here and we end here so whatever written in between this script is the javascript part in html okay so whatever is written between the script open and script clo close html tag in a web page the script tag tells the browser to interpret all the text between this tags as a script okay so whatever written in the this script is uh, is a signal to the browser that it is a script the script tag generally placed between the body tag okay so this script tag is generally placed as you can see in this example so html body and after that you have a script open and script close so this is how the script tag is used in html script tag has two important attributes language and type so these are the two attributes of script tag now what does this language do this attribute specifies the scripting language that is being used its value is javascript so when you write language the value will be javascript as you can see in this example the recent version of html do not use this attribute so the recent uh, whatever javascript is released recent version of html they don't require this javascript Uh, value type this is the attribute 
that is it is rec recommended and that is how being used to specify the scripting language it, its value is text oblique javascript okay so this this type is also written uh, so in the new new version uh, this type is used language is not used okay so that's it for uh, this video uh, in my next video i will be discussing about the first javascript code so this part i will be explaining in my next video